All right, here we go. I, I know you guys, some of you guys like these goofy hat cam videos. So here we go. Um, stopped by my local card shop and uh, getting ready for the eventuality of when I need to replace the uh, hobby box at the end in minute rips. There's only one hit in that box. Uh, so once we pull it, I'm gonna have to replace it. So stopped by my local hobby shop and grabbed a box of Donruss, three hits in there, and grabbed a box of Gypsy Queen. The, uh, I was, I've been hesitant to grab this box of Donruss from him because he's charging about $15 more than I think he should. He's charging $140, and I know some other places you can get them for about $125. But um, I decided to go ahead and flip the switch on that because the, uh, the Gypsy Queen he is only charging 150 and I know a lot of other places are charging 180 or 175 for that so on balance they come out kind of even and I support my local guy and um, I, I was just mentioning to somebody the other day about uh, pack searchers in relation or box box searchers box mappers in relation to the uh, gypsy queen and uh, how the the hits are always in the same spot in the box, so pe people who were not being forthcoming would be able to um, just pull the hits out and then sell the cold packs. And uh, in that discussion, I, I did mention that this particular LCS always shuffles a box every time he opens it, and that uh, I know that I can trust him to not be doing something like searching boxes. And that's actually another reason I decided that it was okay to go ahead and spend the extra few dollars for a box dealing with a local guy that I know I can trust. Uh, so speaking of Gypsy Queen, I grabbed these three random packs out of the box he had on the counter and I'm just gonna rip these open for myself, see what I get out of here. And then that uh, box will save for uh, minute rips. So let's see what we get out of this pack of Gypsy Queen. It's my first time seeing them. We have Flaherty. Oh, that's a little hard to read the names with the, the ticker line down the middle. Uh, Flaherty. We have Wheeler. Yeah, that is a little hard to read. Am I looking through my glasses? Yep, I'm looking through my glasses. We got Wheeler. We have Yelich. Who is that? Y A J U R E? Yager? Miguel Ye Yahur? Ye uh, somebody know how to say that? Am I gonna, do I have these in the camera? Jeez. We got Judge right there. We got Jimenez. Kirilov. These are almost as hard to read as the 2021 tops. It's big enough, but it's got that line going all the way through. It looks like it's uh, got the little crown for winding your watch on the end that would flip the letters. Like, it almost looks like it was supposed to look like some mechanical device where you would pull the crown out and flip the letters till you got the right one. And then when you've got your word spelled, that would actually be a cool device. A cool little device if somebody were to make one of those, but you'd have to have 26 letters on every wheel. So, anyway, we got Bell. Let's see here. Second pack. I got three packs. Let's see what we get. That's uh, Guriel. We have... Oops, cards are falling over here. Got too many angles to look at. Can't pay attention to everything. We have Rio Muto. We have... Fairchild, nice, got the trout, trout right there. We have Trammel, Alonso, we've got Howard, and F-R-I-A-S, Frias, yep, Frias. And last pack, let's see what we got. 
we have Hayden Hader, Josh Hader, we have Brantley, we've got Bieber, Altuve, Strasburg, Duval, we have Gill, and Paredes. All right, there we go. There's the backs. Oh, let's see here. Were there, do they have special backs? Are these all the same? Yeah, they look all the same. Did I miss any? Uh, where's the logo? Okay, there's the logo. Did they do logo swaps? Oh, that's inter interesting. They did the rookie card logo a little off kilter there. Kind of goes with the, uh, so let's see if I had to take a look at the image. So the border looks like a mechanical photo mount. So you got the little metal corners up here and then down here, it looks like, um, yeah, so you got the photo, you got the white border on the photo, so that's supposed to be like a printed photo that's mounted inside of this metal frame. That's actually kind of cool. It would be really cool if somebody would make actual... Oh, so this is, this is like a ticket coming out. Okay. Right here, that's like a ticket coming out of a slot. That would actually be a really awesome uh, photo uh, card stand or uh, card frame. That's really actually cool. At first I didn't really like it, but now that I look at what all the elements actually are, so this, the you can see where it says third baseman, you can see that's a spinning wheel where it has the other positions listed on the, the other parts of the wheel, kind of like um, slot machines have wheels with the different pictures. And then, like I said, here's the crown like of a watch where you would pull it out to set the time or to wind it. So it kind of looks like this would be a mechanical device where you, you pull that out and you turn it to adjust the letters in each position. So what do they do when they have somebody with a really long name? That now I'm going to have to see how many, uh, I'll, I'll do this later on, count how many slots there are and uh, figure out who has the longest name in baseball right now. And then that part looks like a little ticket coming out. That's pretty cool. So every year they, uh, they do the little differences like the logo swaps and whatnot. There's the off-kilter rookie card again. I kind of like that. It looks like it was just haphazardly stamped on there. That's pretty cool. So it, it, it actually doesn't look like it was printed as part of the photo. It looks like something like a sticker or a postmark that somebody stamped on there. Um, okay, so... Oh, I just looked in the little corners here, and they're all blank except this one. And I thought maybe they were hiding something in there, but that's just his foot. So that's just an extension of the photo. Um, pretty cool. I actually like the design. Pretty neat. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll take a closer look at these when I have this camera off my face. See you next time.